the next morning. Oh, you can't see us. Of course. How very rude of us. We're pleased to meet you. We are Doug Trio. Last night, during the earthquake, our child, Diglett, was attacked. What? Diglett? He was whisked away to the t peak of a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb somewhere so high up. This is why we must call upon you for your help, Windy. Diglett was abducted by a Pokémon named Skarmory. It is a vilely vicious ruffian. Please do be careful. Please, we need your help. We must go. As the underground needs us. That was so sudden. There was no time to even say no. But I am concerned to hear that Diglett has been kidnapped. It's too bad, I'd better go. And go we shall! Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we did some generic ju dungeon runs, helping to save Pokemon, make the world a better place, yada 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 yada. This time, uh, I think we're gonna try and save Diglett this time. Hopefully. Good morning, Wendy. Huh? You were just asked to go on a rescue mission? Yes! Our child Diglett was kidnapped. He was taken to Mount Steel Summit. Please, we need your help. Bye bye. <laughs> Just the sweat rolling down her face, like, what? Uh, okay. Wait, Diglett was the one digging holes here, right? This kidnapping is worrisome. Let's go. Yes, we should, but first we need to prepare. Even though I don't think I really used any items from that mission. But prepare we shall anyway. Let's see what the shop has in terms of TMs. They have... Again, not much. Fire Blast, which apparently I can learn. Low Sweep, Stone Edge, Stone Edge, not Stone Henge, Dragon Tail, Snarl, Dark Pulse, Gazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam, can't speak today, and Brutal Swing. We can only learn those two when they're from much up. I... I am slowly becoming more and more concerned that Eevee cannot learn TMs, Hello. and that I may have made the wrong decision in choosing it. But, uh, at this point, you gotta pers- we just gotta persevere. There is one last place I want to show before we leave Pokemon Square, and that's the pond up here. This is, uh, I think it says on the sign what it is, Wishcash Pond. As you can tell, it is home to a Wishcash. I've heard fissures have opened up in the ground near here and there. There's trouble for ev they're trouble for everyone. It worries me to know end thinking that children will fall down into them. It is very worrying indeed, Wishcash. Indeed it is. We never really talked to any of the people in the square, so we might as well talk to them today. I don't know why, but there have been many natural disasters lately. A lot of Pokemon have become wild and violent because the disasters scared them. It's a mean world out there. There was a forest fire not long ago. It was terrible. Luckily, Blastoise and Feraligator were able to douse it quickly. But it could have been much worse if they were slower getting there. Pardon? Oh, the Pelipper Post Office. The Pelipper Post Office would be... Straight down this path. It's out at the Cape. You can't miss it. Yeah, basically generic stuff to say right now, but... It's still nice to get- it's still nice to get to know the people around here. Or, I say the people. More like Pokemon. 
perfect apple, gold dojo ticket, and a calcium. Mm, now I wonder if I should do this first. I'll take the jobs, because those are good items to get. And I will make my decision. Alright, so. The loadout is basically the same loadout I had last time. Nothing really changed. We didn't really use any items last time in the generic dungeon run, so... It's basically the same and a little bit unchanged. Anyway, Mount Steel is now open for exploration. Usually the game will tell you when a dungeon opens for exploration, but uh, it didn't because I came to this screen first, thinking we would be able to do something. But we kind of have to wait <laughs> to do that. And just to show you the scope of this map, there's a lot to explore here. Now, if Thunderwave Cave were shining, I would have considered going there first. But uh, right now, I think Diglett's safety is of the utmost importance. Here we are, Mount Steel. So Diglett was whisked to its peak. That's right. The peak is the ninth floor. Thank you for helping. Farewell. Uh, let's go. Mount Steel. Uh, alright. Ironically enough, it doesn't seem to be home to many Steel-type Pokémon. I think there's like a few- I think there's still some Steel-type Pokémon, if I remember correctly, but... Right now, we're not fighting Steel-types, we're fighting Fighting-types. Ooh, that was fake up. Oh, I flinched. Okay. So, flinch. If you're caught with a flinch, by a flinch I mean, you cannot use a move. You could still move around, but you can't use one of your moves. And that Tyro actually did a bit to us, so that's actually interesting. Found a Patcha Berry. I don't know how useful that's gonna be. There might be some poison types, but who knows. Who's coming down here? Oh, a ball toy. Um... Do we have anything to deal with you? Bullet Punch is normal effective, so let's try it. We missed. We'll let Eevee take it. Oh yeah, Eevee has Bite! So it actually was smarter to let Eevee handle it. Oh. oh, nice crit, Eevee. Also, I gotta call it by its name. Its name is Ori, not Eevee. And we got a level up. <laughs> one HP, two attacks, one defense, one special attack, and one everywhere else, basically, except attack, I think. We're level 8 now, so that's nice. Oh, we found the steps. Perfect. I don't know what... What was Ori trying to do? It looked like Ori was trying to grab something. I'm honestly not sure what Ori was trying to do there. Okay, he's gonna harden. Okay, we'll bullet punch to help out a little bit. Uh, it using Harden really didn't help us, did it? Oh, that's a mud slap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ore is in danger. Um. I think we'll give you. We'll give Ore an Orin Berry. I didn't know if my bullet punch was going to take it out. I didn't know if any of my moves were going to take it out in a hit, so... Uh-oh. Oh, there's a Steel-type! There's Beldum! Um... You're actually neutral to these attacks, so this is fine. 
Yep, there's Ori going twice. I believe going twice is dependent on your speed stat. I still have not looked it up yet. Uh, got some gravel rocks here. Meditate. Gotta meditate. I'm just gonna meditate. We'll use a bullet punch. And we'll do karate chop action. Or I got its stats recovered due to the wonder tile. As you can see, the Pokemon are a little bit more beefy here because they are a little bit stronger. Unlike Thunder Wave Cave and Tiny Woods, we're not one-shotting anymore. Teammates moves. When you're on an adventure in a dungeon, you can check your teammates moves from move settings in the X menu. Basically, that allows you to decide if your partners will use certain types of moves. And I'm flinched again. Jesus. Here's some, have some karate chop action. For flinching me so much. Oh, we got a zigzag in here. And an indoor set, so let's both miss with karate chop action and quick attack. Oh god. It's really not a good sign when I'm missing moves. Let's move on to the next floor. Oh, Ori picked up an apple. I'm like, where is Ori going? I think something I'm gonna do here is uh, register the gravel rocks. Attack has been upgraded. That'll do as what you just saw right there. Allow your AI companion to you allow our Pokemon to use it. Oh shoot. Um uh yes. Give me an orange berry. Um Gravel rocks are basically projectiles that you can throw at a Pokemon and it'll do fixed damage to them. It's a nice way of conserving PP on moves, especially for like longer dungeons. Oh, this guy knows rock polish, which upped his speed. Alright, pick that up. Oh, there's another one with rock polish coming. Yeah, but the gravel rock has some good range on it too, so. Uh-oh. Okay. Jesus Christ, already! <laughs> Alright, we picked all that up. Let's find the steps. There they are. I forget how many floors... Oh, no, wait. It's nine floors. That's right. Oh, and the sixth floor has to... brings us to this. In some cases, floor... dungeon floors will... Dungeons will change appearances based on floors. So with Mount Steel, to we get this more, I guess, outdoor looking, more outdoor look to it. To kind of symbolize that we've gotten closer to the peak. We'll eat one of our apples so that we're not too hungry. On the seventh floor. Let's see how much bullet punch does. Or will miss. That's fine too. Brick break. break. <laughs> and he got a level up from using the gravel rock. <laughs> two HP and two special attack, special defense, and speed. Cool. And I think it was a one on every other stat. As you've seen, the Gravel Rock does do fixed damage. It'll do 20 damage to any Pokémon, regardless of stats. Um, 
Let's try a bullet punch. <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny to see an Eevee just throwing rocks across the dungeon to hit the Pokemon all the way on the other side of the room. A floor. We got like five items. We've almost made it. Oh. Yeah, as you saw right there, the gravel rock missed. Sometimes a Pokemon will be able to dodge it and even pick it up, too. So. That can happen. This space is a training switch. Stepping on it will give you, will allow you to train more quickly on a given floor. The effect does go away once you reach this floor. Hello! And let's take a little bit advantage of it. Um, we do 18. We did 20. And we got some, and we got a level up already. Level 9. Is that one to everything? Oh no, two speed. Okay. I'm trying to learn foresight. Resets an enemy's boosted evasiveness. If the enemy is ghost type, it also makes the enemy expose, which um, I don't think so. I mean, it's not that it, foresight can't be useful. It's just more of Given what we're supposed to be, I don't think it fits our archetype. Not to saying not saying that foresight can't be useful for a fighting type like a Machop, but I think with what kind of Pokemon Machop and is supposed to be, I accidentally went into auto mode. I don't think Foresight's the best move to have. Oh, we dodged the... We missed. We both missed. It missed Confusion and we missed Brick Break. Anyway, let's move on. Look, Wendy! Diglett's over there! Hey! Are you alright? We've come to rescue you! Uh, I'm scared! Oh, hello! You! What do you think you're doing here? We're here to rescue Diglett! Skarmory, don't do this! Release Diglett! How dare you! It's their fault! I haven't slept in days because the earthquakes frighten me so! Every night we had them! Those earthquakes are caused by this brat's ilk running on wild underground! I don't think that's true. Well, it's true there have been many earthquakes lately, but... It would take more than Diglett's family running wild below to cause earthquakes. You be quiet! We'll fight if you keep that up. It's no good. Skarmory is too agitated to listen to reason. We'll have to fight it out. And we have our first boss fight. As you can see, we are fully healed and fully... ...fed, I guess. We are basically in a giant square. Uh... Steel Flying is definitely not the best typing for my moveset. Except for one move, I believe. Uh, I'll move up one tile. Oh yeah, we got Gravel Rocks. Those will also help us. Oh, we're actually neutral against it. Okay. I believe Stab is a thing in this game, so we might as well just go for the Stab move. We'll do Brick Break again. Okay, we flinched. That's fine. Eevee coming in clutch with these flinches so far. Not gonna lie. Okay, it leered us before. That's what happened. Uh, break, break again. That was a crit. Oh, and we went twice! Oh, and that's it! 
That was pretty quick. Ah, I can't keep up. I'll flee for now. Hey there! We chased out Skarmory. It's okay now. Come down over here. Uh, I can't. I'm too scared to move. Okay, no problem. We'll come to you. Just wait. Don't. Don't do that. Uh. Sheesh, look at this cliff. I can't see the bottom. Wendy, what do we what do we do? We can't get across like this. Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh hi! You're the Magnemite we saved. We got word of this. We can rescue Dicklet from the sky. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Hold on to us tight, buzz, buzz, buzz. Don't be scared. We won't make the mistake of zapping you, buzz, buzz, buzz. First off, how would he hold on? Second, how would they make the mistake of zapping him if he's immune to their electric attacks? I guess those are just questions we have to ponder for another day. Oh, I was very scared. Maybe because I was somewhere up so high. My feet felt like they were still walking on air. Feet? He has some feet? <laughs> I love it. Just everyone questioning, like, he has feet? Although, to be fair, we never see Diglett feet anywhere, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, you're safe now. That's what counts. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you've been rescued! Great, great! Huh? What was that? Am I hearing voices? Nope, there he is again. Hello! Doug Trio here! Oh, Papa! Diglett, you had us worried. You're not hurt. Nope! It was scary, but I'm alright. It's all thanks to Wendy's team. Thank you for everything. You're heroes. You should be thanking our Magnemite friends. This rescue was impossible for us to do on our own. Oh, how rude of us. Thank you so much. No, no. It was the only thing to do. And how both our evolved forms are joint trios. I felt a certain kinship. After all, Pokemon must help each other. I'm impressed. Sincerely, thank you. We must be going, Wendy. Ore? Thank you. Wow, he thanked Ore, but not me. I guess he thought Papa was enough. You got a Max Ether. And a Heal Seed. We can't hold any more, so it sent us hang his own storage, as well as 800 Poke. We'll be on our way, too. Oh, wait! Don't go away! What is it? Uh... Would you like to join our rescue team? Join your team? Yes. We couldn't have done the last job if you weren't around, Magnemite. I thought we would need more help for doing rescues in the future. Wendy, don't you think so too? Yeah, sure. So, how about it? Will you join us as members of our rescue team? Rescue team? That sounds fun, buzz buzz buzz. But if you need us to rush over to rescues, we need somewhere to live close by. Is there anywhere we can live in this area? Uh, well... Oh, there isn't. Too bad. Sorry, but we can't join you. See you, buzz, buzz, buzz. That is too bad. But it's true that team members should be close by so that we can they can leave quickly. I guess we need to find places for Pokemon to live if we want some to join our team. I know! Let's go out to Pokemon Square tomorrow. There's an interesting place called the Camp Corner. It wasn't open the other day when we went to the square. It should be open tomorrow, though. It's next door to Felicity Bank. Wigglytuff's usually there every day. We may be able to get some information. 
Okay, that's what we'll do tomorrow. We'll go to Pokemon Square. Again? It's that dream again. That Pokemon. Who could it be? Huh? I I'm hearing better this time. What? Human? My role? Wait! Please, tell me more! Drifting off. <sighs> 